All right, so let's do some review here of uh, the previous video real quick. So we have uh, one over X plus one over Y equals one over Z. And they want us to solve for X. So if I want to get X alone, I need to get X out of the fraction, right? Out of the denominator. In other words, I'm going to need to ditch these denominators like I was doing in the previous video. And in order to do that, if you remember, I had to have common denominators. So our common denominator is going to be all three of them together. Uh, we have the first fraction here is missing, it's missing y and missing z, so I'm going to have to multiply those in, y and z. The middle fraction is missing x and z, and the last fraction is missing x and y, and so I'm going to have to multiply that in. And so what I get is uh, z times y over x, y, z plus, I guess I should say 1, 1xz one over xyz equals 1xy over xyz. And now I can get rid of those denominators. Okay. And so my equation ends up being zy plus xz equals xy. And if I want to get x alone, I need to bring these two x's together. So I'm going to subtract xz to bring it to the other side with the other term that has x. And so I end up with zy equals xy minus xz. And I bring those together not because they're like terms. These are not like terms. xy is not like terms with xz. But I could factor out x from each of those terms. Not to get rid of it totally, but to separate it from those two terms. If I factor it out, it disappears from both of those terms. And look, now it's, now it's only here one time. And if it's there one time, if x is occurring in an equation one time, then I can get everything else away from it. So I can divide now. I can divide y minus z away to get it away from the x, y minus z. And so x ends up being zy over y minus z. And that is how I get x alone. That's how I solve for x when x is on the bottom of a fraction in a multi-termed equation. So for those of you who are... Uh, really getting caught up late at night and couldn't figure that out and were just could, you were losing sleep over it and lashing out at family members, there you go. That's how you do it. So, All right, <clears throat> on to some word problems. These aren't so bad, so don't worry. Uh, Alyssa Juarez can clean the animal cages. That's a really specific name. I don't know why it's so specific, like first names, isn't that okay? Anyway, she can clean the animal cages at an animal shelter where she volunteers in three hours, okay? And then Bill, Bill can do the same job in two hours. How long would it take them to clean the cages if they worked together, okay? So uh, we're gonna think of this in terms of uh, how long could it take, or how much of the job, how much of the job could they complete in one unit of the given time. How much of the job could they complete in one unit of the time? So if Elissa can complete the whole job in three hours, then in one hour she can complete a third of the job. A third of the job. Okay. And then Bill, Bill in one hour if he can complete the same job in two hours, in one hour he can complete half the job. And so they want to know if how long it would take them to clean the cages if they worked together. So if they're working together, I'm going to take uh, Elissa's, <clears throat> Elissa's one third of a job, right? Her one hour of work, and I'm going to add it to. I'm going to give myself some space actually. I'm going to add it to Bill's one hour of work. And I'm going to say that that's equal to, they can complete 
uh, one part of the job. So uh, T represents uh, how many, how much of, the, so this side represents how much of the job they could complete in an hour together, okay? If Elissa in one hour can complete a third of the job and Bill can complete half the job, uh, then together they should be able to complete however much of the job in one hour, one over some number. So let's go ahead and solve for that number and maybe that will make a little more sense. So um, one third plus one half, we're gonna have to have a common denominator here. So our common denominator is six. This first fraction will need a two. This second fraction will need a three, okay? <clears throat> and then actually we wanna have T included in that as well. So uh, this right side of the equation is gonna need a two and a three times three times two. And these will need T as well. T and T, right? So each fraction is gonna have two, three, and T. Okay, and so this ends up being 2t over 3 times 2 times t is 6t plus 3t over 6t equals 6 over 6t. All of the denominators are the same, so I can slash them out and end up with 2t plus 3t equals 6. Okay, this is how you're going to set up these problems every single time. This is going to be the easiest way to set them up. So 5t equals 6. So t equals 6 fifths or 1.2, right? Or 1.2. Okay. So that means uh, they could in one hour, in one hour working together, they could complete 1 out of 1.2, 1 out of 1.2, which is pretty good. That's like, what, 10 out of 12? It's like almost the entire job there, almost the entire job. So how long would it take them to complete the cages if they work together? T represents how long it would take them. T represents how long it would take them to complete the job. T is how long it takes together. <clears throat> so 1.2 hours is our, an our answer there. And I know that's weird. You are probably not used to thinking about setting up equations like that, but this is going to be the pattern every time, right? 1 over the amount of time it takes the one person plus 1 over the amount of time it takes the other person equals 1 over t, how much time it's going to take them all together. So. Our next example, Melissa can clean the house in four hours, whereas her husband, Zach, can do the same job in five hours. Uh, so Zach is here at five hours. They have agreed to clean the house so that they can finish in time to watch a movie on TV that starts in two hours. So they've got two hours to do it. They're hoping that together they can clean it in under two hours. How long will it take them to clean the house together? Can they finish before the movie starts? Oh, man. Okay, so Melissa, Melissa can do one-fourth of the job in an hour. Zach can do one-fifth of the job in an hour. In other words, one job in four hours, one job in five hours. Together, they can clean one house in X hours or T hours, right? So that's maybe a better way to think about this. Uh, one job in four hours, one job in five hours. Together they can clean one house in T hours. Okay, And uh, go ahead and see if you can solve this one now that you have the equation. See if you can solve it. Pause the video and try for yourself. All right, so hopefully you paused the video and tried for yourself. So if we find a common denominator, it's going to be 5 times 4 times t. So this far right side, it needs to be multiplied by 4 and 5. The middle fraction needs 4 and t. And the right side needs 5 and t. Okay. So we end up with 5t over 20t 
plus 4t over 20t equals 20 over 20t. And our denominators are the same, so they get crossed out only in equations. That only works in equations. You can't just cross out fractions because you don't like dealing with the bottom. Plus 4t, 5t plus 4t equals 20. 9t equals 20. So t equals whatever 20 over 9 is. 20 over 9 is 2.2 repeated. Repeated, right? So like 2.2 hours. So unfortunately, 2.2 hours, that's how long it's going to take them to clean the house. And no, no, they will not finish before the movie starts because the movie is starting in two hours. And it's going to take them two hours and 12 minutes to uh, finish it. So hopefully the beginning is not so, not so great and they can, they can afford to miss it. Maybe it's previews. I don't know. You can miss the previews, although I really like the previews. So Anyway, an Arabian camel can drink 15 gallons of water in 10 minutes. At this rate, how much water can the camel drink in three minutes? Well, that's, that's just a simple proportion, right? So 15 gallons in 10 minutes. At that rate, uh, they can drink X number of gallons in three minutes. Just set up a proportion there. I'm not really sure why this is in the unit. Uh, maybe there's a like, much more complicated way that's related uh, to solve this. But here, 10 times X, cross multiply, 10 times X equals the product of the other crossing. 3 times 15 is 45, divide by 10, divide by 10, 4.5. So 4.5 gallons of water in 3 minutes. That's pretty remarkable. Pretty remarkable. Gallons, there we go. All right, that's it for this, this one. The, uh, the next example, our last example, is pretty much the same, so... Yeah, go ahead and work on your homework. Your Math Excel assignment should be posted. So if not, it's posting uh, shortly. And you should have certainly enough time to finish it. So I'll see you around on Friday. Don't forget you have a quiz Friday. Quiz Friday.